Hello everyone. So this brings us to the last but not the least question of the series. So this is question number 17 and next we have three more questions which are the additional questions in this section. So let's start with it. Here it says that we need to create a pod name this with required image and we need to add two more labels for this pod and we, then we need to check the node for which the pod has been scheduled. Next we have to check um, what are these runtime type in this container and write the value in this file located. Also check the logs of the container and store them over here. So let's just SSH into it. So now we'll create the configuration for the container that we have over here. That is the pod tigers reunite. This is the name with the image that we have for the alpine. Next, we also require labels. First is this label. Next is this. Don't forget to add the namespace. Just quickly do a dry run before running it actually. Yeah, this seems to be fine. Just check the pod if it is created successfully or not. Kubectl get pods hyphen in is the namespace and here we can see we have the pod running successfully now comes the first part of the question which is to check on which node is the pod scheduled so we'll just get the pod into hyphen o wide to make sure on which node so you can see this is the node one we'll ssh into node one Okay, so here what we have to see is this critical command which you see is similar to as the docker command. So we'll just copy it. We'll do a ps. Okay, so it says we don't have permission sudo i. Now you will do again critical ps. Okay, we'll do a grep for this pod. Copy the name. Write it into the grep command. Fetch the container ID. The initial column represents the container ID. Copy it. Now we have to do an inspect for the same. And here we'll see the runtime type. Okay, we'll just do a grep again to make our refinements to the findings that we have, which is the runtime type. Okay, so the value here is this for the runtime. It says that write the container id and the info runtime type into this file so we'll copy this path we'll firstly exit this node and okay exit 
yeah so here we'll create this file and copy the container id and this value in this file just remove the extra things that are over here we'll keep this value and yeah this looks good and we'll store it now it says that write the logs of the container into this we'll again ssh into the node what we'll do is we'll get the logs which is the logs and then the container id we already have it over here okay so again a sudo needs to be done copy this command paste it okay now just copy all the content from starting till the end exit the container exit the node do a vim for the next log file which is mentioned okay just do an insert now make sure you have copied the content properly do a vim again insert and paste do a cat yeah so logs have been added over here so we have completed the second part as well now let's start with the preview questions